we have now a set of lighting talks. We will have three live lighting talks from three uh, speakers, and then we will have two pre-recorded videos uh, from uh, remote speakers. So we will keep the pre-recorded videos at the end. And we start with the very first one from Benjamin. Please, Benjamin, floor is yours, five minutes. Cool, yeah, um, thanks uh, everyone for being here. And yeah, let's uh, keep up with the topic of buildings and OpenStreetMap. Some of you who have been here in the morning learned already about the global distribution about it. We want to look a bit closer into the completeness of buildings in cities. So I, because I don't have so much time, we just start with the results and you can ask me about the method later. So what we did, we, we trained the machine learning model with other data sets like using population information, land cover, income, yeah, kind of a lot of uh, covariates to predict how much buildings you would estimate or expect in a city and compare this to the number of buildings we already see mapped in OpenStreetMap. And this is the result of it. So um, it's many dots and many points. So it's around 13,000 cities we investigated, basically all cities which have more than 50,000 inhabitants. And so this gives you the global distribution. So we see maybe some familiar pattern of Maybe there's a north-south difference of better or more complete mapping in, in, in many cities in Europe or Northern America and um, less mapping in other parts of the world. But I would say one interesting fact is here that no matter at what continent you take a look, you will always find well-mapped cities. And I think that's um, encouraging and something like we can maybe learn on from to, to check out what has been, yeah, how the community is organized in the cities that are well-mapped outside Europe or Northern America, for instance. So, of course, it's, it's hard to digest this map and all its information. So we, we try to summarize a bit more by different regions. So that, that can help you kind of to yeah, sketch out maybe the differences and not only in the current state of OpenStreetMap mapping as it is of today, but also how mapping yeah, has evolved over the past. So you from this left-hand side, you would learn that, okay, as maybe expected, but still good to visualize, kind of, I would say, that mapping in Europe and Central Asia kind of kicked off much earlier than in many other parts of the world, uh, region or the world. Um, currently, most progress, so to say, is made in Northern America, probably also because many of the Microsoft buildings are being used to, to add to the, to the cities there. And you see that for some other regions, we, we might have seen like increases that, that started a bit later. Sub-Saharan Africa is, is accelerating a bit, and some other regions are maybe yeah, not reaching like or the, the state of building mapping as, as others, right? Um, you could also group it by a different parameter, like the Subnational Human Development Index. Basically, as I'm visualizing a bit, the, the still big differences that we see in the OSM community that are related to, to income and human development index, basically as a proxy to who has access to the map and who can be part of OpenStreetMap. So, so the right-hand figure should be a challenge for all of us to, to make this different. And that it can work, I would say, is the fact that you see that it's not linear. So as maybe expected, the very high human development index regions are mapped best at the moment, but then the second best is in the low human development in, um, regions, and this is mainly due to mapping which has been organized through the hot task manager. I cannot show you here now, but do you have to trust me in a way? But um, now we, we checked it out, and especially for, 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 for low human development um, index regions, up to 50% of the data for buildings has been mapped through the hot task manager, so which is quite a large um, portion of the data. And so you see that yeah, different approaches towards mapping can change OpenStreetMap and the data quality in OpenStreetMap. Here is the completeness. And we should look a bit closer yeah, what needs to be done in other parts. OK, and don't, I also want to show you like a brief glimpse of that this is not only on the global level with points, but we do it really detailed on a one kilometer by one kilometer raster, so to say, that you can also sketch different uh, types of cities. And even within a city, completeness can be really different. Like you see on the top right, it's basically either totally mapped or not mapped at all. 
think my time is up. Thank you. Thank you, Benjamin.